Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my baby's hospital bag video. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Nicole. I'm 33 weeks pregnant currently, so I wanted to go ahead and get my bag packed because I am a little bit higher risk, so there is a chance I could be delivering at 37 weeks. Um, and so my fiance has been kind of getting antsy about me getting things packed and ready to go for the hospital. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to show you is her car seat. This is by the brand Baby Trend, I believe. Um, I will link it in the description box below. This infant car seat actually came with a um, travel system. So it came with a big stroller that transitions into a toddler stroller. This just connects on top. And so that is what we are going to be bringing. One item that we are going to be bringing that I do not have in this video yet is her car seat cover. We are anticipating her to be born later October, although if I am induced early, she will be born she will be born at the beginning of October, but we live in Iowa, so it gets cold pretty quickly here. And um, we have one more baby shower tomorrow that we're hoping to get our car seat cover from, otherwise we will just end up buying that ourselves. Um, but that is another thing that we will be bringing with us that will attach to the top of the car seat. You can probably see my little dog right there. They're gonna be running back and forth. They're not allowed in her room. So the bag that I use to pack her hospital bag is just her diaper bag. It is the JJ Cole backpack. So it has the straps on the back and it also includes just a portable um, changing pad. So I packed this the way I would her normal diaper bag. There are gonna be a couple of extra things in here um, specifically for the hospital. And there are also things in here that we probably aren't gonna be using in the hospital, but I just wanted to have her bag pretty much ready to go for whenever we're leaving. So this is packed more for like an everyday situation with the exception of a few things. Now, just a disclaimer, I am a first time mom. So I did a ton of research online. I watched dozens and dozens of videos to put together my list of what I'm going to be including in Owen's diaper bag for the hospital. So I'm going to be starting with the more everyday essentials that I know are going to be staying in her diaper bag on a daily basis. I can hear my neighbor's dog whining. It's so sad. So the first thing that I packed were just a handful of newborn diapers. I also packed a little travel size Bordeaux butt paste. This brand I really, really love. Um, I know this is my first child, but I did work in childcare for seven or eight years through high school in my early 20s. And this brand I found to be my favorite of all. I worked with infants, so I'm a little partial to certain brands already. I'm really hoping that they work for my baby. I also just packed a pack of Huggies Wipes. These are the natural care, so I'm pretty sure they are unscented and hypoallergenic. I packed two blankets. The first is a swaddle blanket. Um, I may be switching this out for a muslin swaddle blanket. I do have one right now, and I have more on my registry, but I haven't decided if that's the blanket that I want to use to swaddle her in, in the hospital, and I really didn't want to overpack and bring more than I needed. So right now I just have this one. It is a very thin, stretchy material, um, so I may just stick with this. And then I did also bring a slightly bigger um, plush material. It's a little bit of a thicker blanket. I'm not really sure we're going to be swaddling her much in this. It is probably small enough that we could swaddle it, and it's not super thick, but... I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and it'll help keep her warm a little bit if we're just holding her in our arms while we're in the hospital. So this blanket actually came with our bedding set. I will link my bedding set below because I don't think you can buy this blanket separately. Um, but it is the Cloud Island brand from Target. Next, I packed just two pairs of newborn socks. I packed one newborn onesie. This is a long sleeve one and it does have the um, the little cuffs that go over the hands and then I also packed a zero to three month onesie just because I don't know what size she's going to be when she's born. She's already a little bit on the bigger side so she may or may not fit into um, newborn right away. And then I did pack just one little sleeper with feet. 
This one is super cute because it's got little ruffles on the butt and I just love the little fairy tale kind of princessy design. Um, this is a newborn size, but this was the biggest sleeper that I had in newborn size and it's very comparable to the zero to three month ones that we do have. So I think this will fit her either way if she is a little bit on the bigger side. So watching all these other videos from women that are already moms, I got this idea from them to do um, baby gowns instead of really too many sleepers or like zip up ones because of their umbilical cord. So I got a two pack of gowns from Target it is the Cloud Island brand. So they have just the open bottom and these are zero to six months. So they're probably going to swallow a newborn, um, but I did wash them and it did shrink a little bit. They also have the mitten cuffs as well. So I love that. But just with changing her and stuff in the hospital while her umbilical cord is still attached, I didn't want to irritate her too much. So um, I got the idea to do gowns from other videos. And then that one just also comes with like a little matching hat. And then the second gown, same thing, um, just a floral print. This also matches her bedding. So it's got the open bottom as well. And then it also comes with a little hat. I am also packing some of my nursing supplies in her bag. So the one thing I have packed right now is just my nursing cover scarf. This is the Eddie Bauer brand. I registered for it um, at Target and did receive it as a gift. So we will be using that in the hospital for, you know, just if we have guests and stuff while I need to feed her. The other nursing supplies that are going to be in her bag, I do not have right now because um, they are on my baby registry. So I will be getting them if I don't receive them as a gift, but I am also packing the lanolin um, nipple cream and nursing pads. I'm only gonna pack a few. I do plan to use a lot of the supplies that they provide at the hospital, but those are also probably things that I am going to be keeping in her diaper bag for whenever we're out in public um, or visiting friends or family. So those are gonna stay in her bag as well, just as everyday essentials. I also packed a newborn Soothe Bobo, that's what I call them. I do not plan on using this with her in the hospital just because I know some newborns can have problems latching and nursing right away if they're exposed to a pacifier too soon. So this is just gonna be in her bag as an everyday essential. Probably a few weeks after she's born, she'll start using that. Another item that is going to go in her diaper bag that I also do not have right now because it is on my baby registry, but we will be getting it no matter what, is newborn mittens. Now, the mittens that I registered for actually go with the prints of her two gowns. Um, even though these gowns come with mittens, but her hands, I feel like these gowns are probably gonna swallow her, so the mittens might not stay on her hands very well, so I did wanna pack mittens just in case. And also, her sleeper does not have um, mitten cuffs, and obviously her zero to three month onesie is short sleeves. So if we do have to put her in one of those two, I wanna have mittens on her hands at all times. So those will also be going in her bag. I had to stop my camera for a second because my dog was tearing into my living room blinds. The last thing that I am putting in my bag is just a plain empty bottle. Now we are going to try the Tommy Tippy bottles. Um, I think these are the closer to nature ones. So they are very similar to a real nipple. I doubt she's gonna use this in the hospital, but because we are at risk of being induced a little bit early, I know sometimes with earlier babies, they can have a little bit um, of trouble latching right away. And if we have any problems with breastfeeding in the hospital, you know, obviously I want her to be fed, whether we have to use formula or I just have to pump and give it to her in a bottle. I want her to have a bottle that's really close to like what a natural nipple would feel like. So we are gonna bring this just in case we need to supplement. So that is everything that I am packing in my baby's hospital bag. I am going to do a separate video on what is going to be in my hospital bag. I get so out of breath talking now. I feel like my lungs are just compressed all the time. That video really winded me out. Another reason why I did wanna do this video a little bit early is because I am also in a Facebook group with a bunch of other moms that are due around the same time as I am. A lot of us are also first time moms. So I wanted to post this and get it up early that way for you ladies that I know from Facebook, um, you can maybe get some ideas for your hospital bag as well. I know there's probably things that 
I'm missing are probably things that I'm not gonna be using or need, but like I said, I'm a first time mom, so I'm just kind of winging it. I really didn't wanna overpack too much. We are also bringing a boppy pillow. I have a friend that is giving me one of her old ones, so as soon as I get that from her, that'll be right there in a pile of stuff ready to go to the hospital with us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, things that you recommend I don't bring, or things that you can think of that I should be bringing, please leave them in the comments below because I know I have time to add to it um, and stock up. I just wanna make sure I'm prepared but not overly prepared. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.